just finish tying my belt and then we'll get started. Okay, so I can't see everyone at once, so I don't really know who's here and who isn't here, but I'm just going to talk for a little bit before we get started and then we're going to have a pretty fun session. So tonight I'm taking the class with my brother, Alex. If you haven't met Alex, this is Alex. Um, so if you haven't done a class with us, I'm Bella. Like I said, Alex, this is my first Zoom class. So it's a little bit weird for me because I can't see everyone and I can't hear you like responding to my questions and that sort of a thing. So it'll be a learning curve for both me and you. So just bear with me a little bit. Um, another note, if I cut out or I freeze, just continue doing the exercise that you're on and then I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Sometimes the Wi-Fi can be a little bit on and off. Okay, so to get started, I want you to come up and sit in front of your camera and you're going to close your eyes and think about what your intentions are for the start or for the whole of this class. So you're going to come, you're going to sit cross-legged and you're going to think to yourself, set your intentions. So do you want to work hard tonight? Do you want to be technical tonight? Have those clear in your mind and you'll have a good session. Okay, I'll leave you to meditate for a bit. Keep them closed. I can see when you have them open. Okay, cool. So I'm going to try and not ask any questions tonight, but I might ask a few people. So if I ask you a question, come up, unmute yourself, answer, and then we're done. If you want me to go over anything, send me a message or like unmute yourself and just start talking. That's okay. I don't mind if you talk over me. It's all good. If you don't understand something, just come up and ask. So to start off with, we're going to do lots of exercise tonight because I think that's the best way to start a Zoom call Taekwondo class. So to start off with, I want you standing up out here and you're going to start running with your knees high like this. And just don't stop. Just keep them high. Keep them up. I'm watching all of you, that's why I'm standing here. Jacob, move it. Hi, Alex. Now punch your hands out at the same time as you lift your knees, like Alex. If you stop, I can see, so do not stop, keep going. We're going to do a minute and a half of this. We're at 35 seconds. Now keep going. When I say sprint, you're going to go even faster until I say back to this. When I say back to that, you're not going to start walking. You're not going to stop. You just go straight back to what Alex is doing. And sprint. And stop. Don't stop lifting your knees. Just tap it off. Jacob, move it. And sprint. And high knees. Jack, get moving. Liam, get moving. And sprint. And stop. And done. Take a break. Okay. Now, if you have your screen off, 
Can you please turn it on so I can see everybody? And if you can't, then that's okay. Just put me a message. Okay. Are we rested? We're going to do the same three thing that again. Are turned off are usually off. Okay, cool. Are we ready for our high knees and sprinting? Three, two, one, go. Sprint. Jacob, move it. And relax. Keep jogging. Lift those knees up. Get those arms out. And sprint. Jacob, sprint. And relax, back to normal. Relax doesn't mean stop, relax means slow down. Sprint. Faster. And relax. And stop. And come to the front of the camera. Take a few deep breaths. Grab some water if you have to. And back to the camera so I can see all of your faces on screen. Okay, put up your hand if you found that difficult. If your hand is not up, you're lying. I'm looking to see that everyone's hand is up. Good. Okay, so the great thing about that exercise is you can push yourself as hard as you want. So if you are a little bit unfit, you can still push yourself quite hard and get really good results because it's intense. So now we are going to do a minute of burpees. Jacob, can you, actually no, never mind. A burpee, oh, my camera's gonna fall. Okay, so a burpee, you jump straight up in the air, you go down onto the ground and you do a push up. Tuck your knees back in and you jump up. I would show you properly, but my camera doesn't go further, any further down than that. So you're going to do a minute of those. Is that clear? Put up a thumb. Put up a thumb. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Don't stop. Make it a proper push up. I'm going to look up here. watching you. Nice burpees, Liam. Tiffany, put your camera down. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And why aren't you doing burpees? Go. Yeah, there we go. Keep it up, don't stop, don't slow down, don't stop doing proper push-ups. Almost there.
and stop. Take a breather. Who's sweating? Hands up. If you're not sweating, then you haven't been doing it properly. So everyone should have their hands up. Okay, guys, and come to close to the camera so I can see you all. And guys, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't take breaks or grab drinks until I give you kind of a get a drink, just because, you know, just kind of, I know you're at home, you're in your own environment and you might get really thirsty and that's okay. But I am aware that you need drink breaks. I am aware that you do need breaks, but if you guys can just respect me and let have a break when I ask you to have a break. Okay, so now, we are going to do some mobility. Can you turn it off? Sorry, we're still trying to figure out this whole Zoom thing. So mobility. So mobility is super important for gaining flexibility and the ability to move your muscles in a way that you might not always be able to move them. So everyone come and stand like we are now. Find a position with lots of space around you. Okay, and now to start off with, you're going to do four front rising kicks like this. One, two, three, four. Go, follow along, do four front rising kicks, go. Now this time, you're going to do four front rising kicks but this time, you're going to go outwards. One, two, three, four. Go. This time, inwards, like this. One, two, three, four. Go. This time across, one, two, three, four, go. This time, you're going to lift your foot and it's going to be sideways like this. So one, two, three, four, go. This time, you're going to go like this. Four side rising kicks on either side. One, two, three, four, go. This time, backwards, so like this, behind you. So one, two, three, four, go. This time, like a turning kick, except you don't pivot your supporting foot. So like this, up and over. One, two, three, four, go. This one's all about leg control. Now this time, like a hooking kick, so standing here, you lift your leg up and out. One. Two, three, four, go. And set your hips like this. And then faster. And switch directions. Okay, this time you're going to do that whole thing again, but a little bit faster and in time with me. So instead of watching me do it, you're gonna do it with me. You ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome, okay. Here we go, front. Out. 
10. And across. And put like this one inverted sideways. Sorry to do that. Backwards. And like the turning kick, take a bit more time for this one. And like a hook and kick. Who okay, found that a little bit sore? Hands up. Yeah? Okay. So, the goal with this is to stand up straight and to not move your body like this or your arms. So if you notice when Alex and I were doing it, straight, back, and hands. You know? Straight, back. And with this one here, this one's probably the hardest for me, but this one here, keeping your back relatively straight. Like that. So we're going to try that again. I'm going to watch you do it. Keep your back straight. Your hands up here. Don't move. Strong, like a ninja. Okay. Front, go. Outwards. Inwards. Across. Inverted. Sideways. Backwards. And slow down for the turning kick ones. Okay, good job. And grab a quick drink because the next one is going to be hard. Go. Okay, this time I want you to go and stand in the middle of your camera. I'm going to watch. We're going to do two minutes of high knees, which is what we did at the beginning, but we're going to do different variations of high knees. So that includes our normal, our normal high knees. You need to be coming up to your back or above. That also includes butt flicks like this. It also includes these ones. Okay, these ones are really hard. And you look a little bit funny, but they're really good and helpful for those chambers like that. Okay? Any other variations? No. Okay. So those are the three. I'll say, I'll say high knees, butt flicks, or should we call them ducks? The weird ones. Okay. The weird ones are called ducks. Are we ready? Starting with high knees. Work as hard as you can. You are cheating yourself if you do not work hard for the two minutes that you have to do this. Two minutes is not a huge amount of time. I'll be watching. Three, two, one. High knees, go. Butt flicks. So you're going fast. And duckies. Hi knees. Go Liam, smashing it. Butt flicks. Put down the puppy. 
and duckies. And done. Jess, I love the puppy. It's very cute. In case you guys missed that, the Rankin Mills have just got a puppy and they were showing us the camera, but it's gone now, so you don't have to look. Maybe we'll ask them to bring it back at the end. Okay, you can. You guys can show us when we stretch. Oh no, it's here now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there. It's very cute. Um, okay, now puppy goes away to do more exercise. Okay, now we're doing a minute of burpees again. So get ready for your minute of burpees. Three, two, one, go. I'm watching you. Keep it up, don't slow down. Come on, Jacob, move it. And done. Awesome job. Now we're going to do one more minute of that running high knees and then we're going to move on to some patterns. Are we ready? Actually, have a little bit more of a breather. Take some deep breaths in and out. If you're sitting down, you're not sitting down on furniture, you're sitting down on the floor. Like I said earlier, I understand you're at home, but you still have to respect that we are training. And at training, you would not go and sit down on the hall seats for your break. And you would not just take a break in the middle of class. So I expect you to do the same here. So if you are tired, you sit on the floor until we start our next exercise and you get a break. When I say you can have a break, give me a thumbs up if that's cool. Awesome source. Okay, enough break. Two, uh, one minute of those high knees that we did just before our burpees, and then you can have a water break. So work extra hard, or else I might not give you a water break. Three, two, one, high knees, go. Butt flicks, go. Duckies, go. Get those high. Look at Alex go. What a ninja. High knees. It's a great thing about having a brother to demonstrate. That means I can watch you. Butt flicks, go. Work, work, work. Duckies, go. And stop. Awesome, grab a quick drink, guys. You've earned it. Come up to the camera once you've had a drink. Actually, bring your water bottle up to the camera. Come close so I can see all of your faces. Okay, I'm going to get you to hold up a number on your hand of how you're feeling about training today. So zero would be like, I really don't want to be here. Um, I'm really tired, I had a bad day, or I had a bad night's sleep, mm -hmm. or I have an injury or something like that. Five being, I can't wait to start get into some good technical training um, and I've had a really good day. 
to hold up a number between zero and five. I'm probably at like a four, four and a half. What have we got? Got some fours. Hold it right into the camera so I can see. Got some twos. No. Four, three. Pretty good, not too many, not too many twos, maybe one, but that's okay. So by the end of this training session, I promise we'll all get a five, five being awesome. Okay, now we're gonna do some patterns. So everybody get ready for that. Tidy up your dough box and look alive. Okay, so Alex, show us how we get ready for patterns, how we stand when we are ready for patterns. Jumbi. Everybody show me that Jumbi stance. Now I would ask why the Jumbi stance is so important, but I'm going to tell you. So Jumbi for me is really important because it shows me that you're ready. If you're standing like this, I don't think compared to him, I look very ready. Although I'm a little bit sassy to be honest. If I'm like this, I don't look ready. I'm like this, I don't look ready. If I'm like this, I don't look ready. Even if I'm like this, I don't look ready. Okay, here, you look strong, you look proud to be here, you look like you want to be here. So, stand still and show me that you're ready. Because although I may not be in your living room or dining room, I can still see whether you're ready or not. Okay, Jim B. Saju Jidigi, right side. Jim B. Saju Jidigi, right side. Jim B. If you don't know this, follow along or do some punches on the spot. See you, Joe. Bro. Left side. See you, Joe. Okay, now we're going to do the same pattern on the right side, but we're going to do it in a box. Huh. Now you might go, what does in a box mean? Oh, I'll show you. Okay, so if we're doing the right side for us, your right side might look different to ours, but just do your right side, whatever you think that is. So our thing is probably flipped. But in a box means instead of walking forwards, you're going to jump to the stance. So Alex, can you show us how to do it in a box? So instead of moving, he's jumping and switching stances. Pretty fun. Are we ready? Saju Jidigi in a box on your right side. See you jump. Jump nice and high. Bro. Left side, in a box. See you jump. Baro. Saju Maki. If you don't know this, do Saju Jidigi again. Saju Maki. Not in a box this time, just normally. Do the first side first. And then I'll tell you to do the second side. See you, Joe. Boom. And bottle. Make sure you're locking all of those stances. Don't get lazy just because you're at home and feel floppy. Be strong because I can still see you. Um, if you wonder why I'm looking up this way, it's because you're all on my big screen. So I can see you even better. So I'm looking up here instead of at my little screen. Second side of Saju uh, Maki. Jumbi. See you, Joe.
Jess, did you do the pattern? No? Yeah? No, maybe. Okay. And but all. Remember, you don't but all till I say you do. That's the rule. And in competitions, you'll get marked down or disqualified, I forget, if you don't, if you return before they say. Okay, this time, so did you write uh, the first side in a box? So you jump. Okay, but all. Second side, C jump. But all. Now, because of the delay, I don't know if I'm going too fast. So just try and keep up. I'm just going in time with what Alex is. That could be too fast, maybe I'll slow down a bit. Okay, this time, next pattern up is Chonji. So get ready for Chonji. Think about the first couple of movements of Chonji so you don't muck it up. Toby and Tiffany, what are you guys up to? Get ready for Chonji! Go! Okay, are they ready? Toby and Tiffany, are you ready? Like ninjas? Okay, is everyone ready? Nate, ninja. Not holding hands. Ninja, yeah, there we go. Oh, Jack looks ready. Liam looks ready. Sweet. Okay. Chonji. If you don't know Chonji, do either Saji Jidigi or Saji Maki. Sorry, there's not really much I can do because I can't really teach it to you. But um, there we go. Chonji, Jumbi. See you, Jack. Looking good, Toby and Tiffany. Keep it up. And Baro. Wow, you guys have put in some work during quarantine. You look good. Okay. Now, you knew it was coming. Chonji in a box. Jumbi. See, jump. But oh, awesome job. Okay, next one. Dan Gun. If you don't know Dan Gun, do any of the patterns below it. Jumbi. Now, Dan Gun, we're doing normally first and then we'll do it in a box. We're doing most of the patterns up to, I think we'll go to Red Stripe. Jumbi. Dan Gun. Jump. Remember, every punch in Dangun is a high punch, so it should be in line with your eyeballs. Oh. I hope you all yelled done good at the end. I can see your lips moving like that. Okay. Done good in a box. Are we ready? It gets harder the more patterns we add. So we'll probably stop doing it in a box soon. Maybe not. Maybe it's fun for me to watch. Okay. Jimby. Done good in a box. 
Sí, yo. Oh, yeah. A little bit confusing this one. You've got to do some back spinning. that one a little bit difficult. It's okay to be honest. I found it difficult watching you guys do that. Okay, next one. Dosan. Are we ready? Can someone unmute themselves and tell me the meaning of Dosan? Don't be shy. It's okay. They don't just pick on someone. I can't see the belts, so I won't pick on anyone, but I'm disappointed. Hmm, okay. Dosan, Jimbi. See, Jok. Testing Alex's memory at the same time. Okay. Darsan in a box. Well, this is the last one we'll do in a box because it starts to hurt my brain a little bit. Okay. Jumbi. Show me you're ready. Okay. See you, Joe. To jump up twice. Do it. Uh, go. Oh, but oh, sorry. Okay. Anyone has become has anyone become not so shy? Can tell me the meaning of dosan. You unmute yourself, you just have to hold down hold down the space bar to unmute yourself. Don't cheat and go and get a book. Someone can tell me, I know they can. What do I have to tell you? Okay. Dosan is a pseudonym of the patriot An Chang Ho. The 24 movements represent his entire life, which he devoted to furthering education and career and its independence from Japanese control. So, gotta use this time to brush up on some theory, it might seem. Next pattern, we won't do this in a box. Um, we will do one year. That's one. One year. Okay. Jumbi. One year. If you don't know one year, do the ones beforehand. Toby and Tiffany, which one are you up to? Ah, oh, one year. Okay, show me. Dosan. Dosan. Okay, show me. Show me already. I'll wait. Gotta stand back, Tiffany, not in front of Toby. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, see, jump. 
Toby, keep going. Tiffany, come on. I'm watching. Show me your ninja skills. Go Jack. And bottle. Okay, now before we grab a drink, we're going to work on a technique. This is for everyone to work on. So, first, I want you to practice moving into a bending stance. Tiffany, you can't practice if you're up against the camera. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, standing like this, you're going to come up and bring your leg here. Now notice, my foot is already in a side kicking position. My other knee is slightly bent, but this is not touching my knee, okay? It's out in a chamber. My other hands are like this. Everyone show me that position and hold it. Liam, hands in a bending, in a guarding block. Nate, come on. Hands in a guarding block. Tiffany, stand still. Toby, stand still. Okay, oh, sorry. Now, Hold up for a second. From here, I want you to slowly lift your leg up, kick out into a side kick, and we'll hold it there. You ready? Go. Slowly. You should still be kicking. Okay. So, that should be really hard for everyone. It should hurt in here or here, depending on what leg you're kicking with. I kick with my leg, uh, with my left leg. So from here, I want you to focus on pivoting the supporting foot, not that you can really see mine, but you can see my knee turning. My back remains straight. I'm not like this, okay? Straight, my leg comes up and out into a side kicking position. My foot is like a stamp, okay? You can see the foot sword clearly, and it would hurt if you got kicked with it. The other thing that's happening is your hands are crossing, and one is going into a high punch, the other is coming to your hip. Now, your kick doesn't have to be as high as mine, okay? Your kick doesn't have to be high at all. It has to be at your belt height roughly, but here's the key. Your kick looks higher if your punch is nice and straight and high. Okay, so you tell me, look at this, my kick here, like that, or my kick here, like that. Which one looked better? Hold up, first or second? Second, yeah, that's because I can see some of them. <laughs> my arm was out straight like this. So everyone show me that first. Nate, don't have a drink. Toby, show me. And then kick. Go. Get your back straight. Yeah, so the higher arm, you don't want it up here because you look silly then. Just out here by your eyes, maybe, in line with your eyes. Okay? So, one thing you guys can work on this week until I see you next or Master Tiffany Twitch sees you next is getting that slow kick with a high punch. Okay, so that means when you do your pattern, it'll be like this, you'll be nice and strong, instead of like this. Okay, because it looks a little bit floppy. So, make it nice and powerful and strong. Some stretches you can do to improve that, or some things you can do. Holding this, holding this, like this. So it's like a side crunch. It hurts a lot. It hurts down here. But if you can keep your back straight, keep your knee up, it'll help you a lot. Okay. Grab a quick drink and then come back. Go.
This is so stressful. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's move it, guys. <laughs> Bring it back. I was about to say, I didn't hear this man, but there's no one here. <laughs> okay. Too used to teaching in a dojang. Can I see all of your faces? Jack, can't see you. Can't see Seb. Seb's probably gone. Nate, move your camera down. Tiffany and Toby, move it. Isabel's here, yay. And the rest of the screen's off, that's okay. Sweet. Okay, we're going to run through some sparring drills because that's our favorite thing to do. And we thought it's fun for us, so it's going to be fun for you. So to warm up, to warm up, we're going to do a minute of burpees again. I like minute burpees. Yeah, yeah. No. Minute of burpees, you ready? Three, four, two, no. one, no. go. Looking good. Do you want one? Well, you do 45 seconds, so keep going. You're almost there. You've got 15 seconds to go. Jacob looking good. Going strong. Liam going strong. I don't think Nate and Jessica are doing a proper push up in between, but I could be wrong. Toby and Tiffany, make that a high jump in between, and done. Might have done a minute, might have done 45 seconds, I guess you won't know. Okay, now that you are warmer than you were before, your first drill is to stand here, and you can do it towards the camera, but I'd rather if you can go this way, just so I can see. You're going to put hand up on your cheek, your back hand, and then your front hand out here like this. We have our back hand on our cheek. Keep check us from kick or something like this. Front hand out like this, just so we're ready to bring it back to here, to bring it down here, wherever it has to go. So standing with weight on your back foot and little weight on your front foot. You're going to go like this. You're going to lift up your leg and just do a little hop this way. Now it's important that your leg isn't like this. Okay, because we're going to kick with it eventually. So, got your hands like this. You're coming to a side kick chamber. So, side kicking chamber looks like this. That side crunch I was doing before. Hurts, but once you get used to it, you'll be fine. The key is to make sure your knee is a pointing down like this. Okay? Like this. Straight. It's a line. It looks nice. It looks pretty. Okay, so from here, like this. So with your knee bent. Okay, just have a play with that for a second and then we'll do some by my count. Remember you should be moving. Don't kick yet, just lift it up. Okay guys, so watching this is probably one of the most important kicks because a side kick, you can win a fight with just a side kick. So this side kick allows you to travel the ground. So instead of being here, you go like this, right? You can come from here. I'll use this like so definitely. So we're ages away, wouldn't think of hitting him. And I can come in like that. Okay? So it's really important that instead of going like this and falling into it because you have no control over your legs, that you lift it up, you don't kick because we're not kicking yet, and you go like this, hop, down. Because that means 
because that means you can do more than one hop if you need to. If you need to go across the ring, across the hall. You know, when I take my classes on Mondays in the hall, we go across the hall doing this, okay? So one shouldn't be that hard. So you can end up going like this, way across. So I'm only asking you to do one, not that hard. Up, down. Now it's not like this, it's not like this. You're not doing a jump. It's like a slide, but my legs like still near the ground. Can you hold it like this, Ella? Like that. My cameraman. Not like that, like that. Watch my foot. Barely comes off the ground, right? So when I'm kicking, I'm going like this. It's just sliding. I'm not going like this. Because that's just too much energy wasted. Okay, show me. Okay, now when you do it, add on the kick on the end, because lots of you, your knee is too low. And so if you go to kick someone, watch this. Yeah. If my knee isn't up like this, and I slide in with my knee like this, what's gonna happen then? There's no kick for me to get out, and he's just gonna come over the top like this. Okay, so if my knee's up at least, I can push him off because I've got something to use. Where if I come like this and I go, yeah, it's not gonna happen, okay? So, up. I know some of you won't be able to get it up here because I've spent a long time trying to get my leg like that, but at least like this. Okay, at least somewhat up, not like this, okay? Show me a couple more and add on the kick on the end. Yeah, Zach, that looks good. Oh man, Zach's killing it, doing some some machine gun kicks. Oh, that's an idea. I haven't asked you to stop, keep going. And remember guys, this is a side kick, not a turning kick. To make it look like a side kick, like a stamp. And battle. Okay. Now, watching. We're going to throw a one, two. So I don't know what class we did the sparring drills, but recently we took an adults class and we did some sparring drills. So you might remember that if you did those. But Taekwondo, we stand side on when we spar. Reason being that if we stand like this, there's lots of targets. Whereas if we stand like this, there's only this small target here or turning kicks which take a lot longer or kicks that come around that take a lot longer. Okay, so that's why we stand side on. So you stand side on with your favorite leg forward. And from here, your hands are up. You're going to slide in, throw one punch. And then you're going to twist and throw the other. The reason we twist is because watch, if I go like this to Alex, if I go with one and I don't twist, seven, here, and I don't twist, I'm not gonna get him. If I twist, look how much longer that is from here to practically touching him. So that's why we go one, two. And you notice how my hands are drawn immediately back to my face. That's because if I do this, He's gonna smack me or kick me, okay? Hands up by your face and immediately they swap. Tuck your chin in a little bit. Right. Show me those by my count, standing up. 
Hopefully you guys weren't sitting down while I was talking. Here. Hello. Now, at the end of the punches, you're coming here one, two, and twisting that back foot and hips. Don't just leave it out like this. You get smacked. Bring it back and take a little slide back. Okay? Hello. So, sit, sit. Imagine that I'm standing here with a noodle and I'm going to smack you if your hands are down to keep them up. Hello. Go. Sit. Net. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here go. Yellow. Oh. Yo. Okay, awesome. I'm not going to get you to do the other side because usually in sparring, you have a favorite side, a better lead leg, which you kick with, and a better front hand that you punch with. So usually you spar with the dominant side. Some people, like myself, I turn both my lead legs to try and have two good lead legs. So if I have to switch, I can switch. Same with Alex, he can switch a lot of the time, sometimes. <laughs> but for tonight, I'm just going to ask you to do one side. Okay, so now I want you to try this. That side kick we did before with the little hop, it's called like a shifting side kick. So you're gonna do a little shift and kick and go one, two. Shift, one, two, three, this. Here, you know, one, two. So as soon as your foot goes down, you're going one, two. This is really good because watch, if we're standing like this, we're standing like this, in a ring, Anyway. Standing like this in the ring, okay? Got space between us. Because lots of the time fights start with, especially as fighters who are kind of older, you won't go straight into fighting. You kind of stand here for a bit and do your footwork and walk around and whatnot. So this is a really good way to get in close and smack him. So, do it with my right leg, which is so that you guys can see. But if we're coming in here, one, two, we've got a kick and then a combination. Okay, so we're like blasting them. So show me that kick, one, two. Make sure you stay side on, your hands come back to your kick. Go. Keep it up. Oh. Tiffany, how can I help? We didn't ask any for any sitting. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, it looked like you had your hand up. Keep going. Keep it up guys, the repetition is what's gonna help. 
If you slow down or start slacking, I can see. Keep up the technique. And but oh, okay. This time we're going to add in some kicks. In fact, I'm going to try something. So some people have left and some people don't have cameras on, so that's okay. But this is something that I wanted to try for a while. So I'm going to start with a technique, a singular technique. Then Alex is going to add a technique and then you're going to do those two techniques together. And then I'm going to go, I'm just going to read out the name I see on your camera because I don't know all of your names. So if I say like your parents name or something, you know, that's you. So just show me a technique that you're going to add on to the chain. And it's just one technique, simple technique. It could be a punch. It could be two punches, it could be a sidekick, nothing complicated. We're going to get everyone and I'm going to demonstrate it and you're all going to copy along. Okay. So our first technique is that one, two punch we've just been doing. So one, two, everybody do that. Your first technique, go one, two. Now, Alex is gonna add on a technique. You have to do it on the camera so I can see. So that is, for those of you who couldn't see, punch, punch with your back leg, a front snap kick and back behind you. Punch, punch, back leg, front snap kick, and put it behind you. Okay, one, two, front snap kick, put it behind you. Show me. With your back leg. Guys, it's really important that you listen to what I'm saying. If I'm saying back leg, you can't kick with your front leg. Your back leg is the one that's behind you. So you've got one, two, back leg, kick, put it behind you, which means back to where it came from. You're not kicking and then putting it down in front, behind you. Okay, next we have Kate Ellery. Show me your technique you'd like to add on. Yep. Okay, so we're going one, two, front snap kick behind you, walking stance punch. Go, everybody join on, so one, two, Front snap kick, the back behind you, walking stance punch. Show me. Now, we'll just have one from the Marias family. So can one person show me your technique? Is that a knife hand guardian block? I think so, okay. I can't really see it. I'm just going to yeah. assume it's a knife hand guarding block. One, two, front snap kick. Oh, uh, sorry, walking stance punch. Knife hand guarding block. I'll show you this way as well. One, two, front snap kick, walking stance punch, knife hand guarding block. So this is to test your memory. Next, we have Zach Heath. What are you going to add? Another front snap kick? Yep, awesome. Okay, so we've got one, two, front snap kick, walking stance punch, guarding block, and with the front leg, give me a front snap kick. Yeah, should we run through that one more time? With me, two punches, front snap kick, walking stance punch, okay, guarding block, Front leg, front snap kick. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, now, watching carefully. Punch, punch. Back leg, front snap kick. Walking stance punch. Guarding block. Front snap kick. And from Oliver, we've got a twisting kick with the same front leg. So one more time for all of you. Make sure you're following along because when I get to you, I'd like you to show me the 
the whole, what's it called? Combination, that's it. One, two, back leg from snap kick, punch, knife hand guarding block, front leg front snap kick, front leg twisting kick. Next we have Mr. Trotter. What are you adding? Oh, yeah. Front snap kick. Can't see you, Jack. You've gone. Show me. Oh, okay, a hooking kick. Mean. So one, two. Back leg front snap kick. Punch. Garden block. Front kick. Twisting kick. And with the same leg again. Hooking kick. So the best way to do this, guys, is to hook up, flick it, and bring it back in front of you instead of going like this. Okay? All the way around. So like this. Sweet. Okay, so one more time. Do it with me. It's getting harder now. At the end, I'm going to test to see who can do it. The whole thing. Have your thinking brains on. One, two, front leg, front snap kick, front punch, guarding block, front leg, front snap kick, front leg, twisting kick, front leg, reverse, hooking kick. Okay, Nate. What are you adding? Okay, same palm up, mucky. We were gonna make this a sparring combination, but it's kind of turned into a mixture of both, so that's okay. It'll help you all the same. So, one, two, kick, punch, guarding block, front snap kick, twisting kick, hook kick, and uh, same, palm up monkey, like that. So you've done your hook kick, you put it down, same wave and same palm up monkey. Next we have Jessica, what are you gonna add? This one? Okay. Watching, so we've gone hook kick, same palm up monkey, and we're going to switch with the same leg again to this one. I forget what it's called. That one. Point palm. Yeah. Okay. That same palm up monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So follow along. From the beginning. One, two, three. No. Oh, sorry. It's from the beginning. One, two, here. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's quite a combination. Okay, we have Cam. Hopefully, Cam's gonna add something interesting. Did you keep both? And a 360. Sweet. Okay. So, 360s are going to be hard for you guys, especially if you're in a small space. So, if you're not able to do a 360, do a turning kick instead. But if you can, and you want to try it without hurting yourself, here's my tip spin your arms like you're in a washing machine. Show me. Spin, spin, spin. Yeah. Now, bring them back this way and go towards your back leg. Tick it up behind you like that. Here. Boom! Try that. Go. Woo! Still a little hop through. Bring it up. Tuck it. Yeah, arms. Tuck. And then you're going to switch and kick like this. Okay? One, two. It's not actually that hard. It's just really hard to teach over the camera. 
So again, if you can't do it, lift up your front leg and just do a 10 kick. From the beginning, one, two, they can't see me from the front. So you can come back here, or not. One, two, front stack kick, front punch. Right hand guarding block, front stack kick, twisting kick, hooking kick. Then come up, Maki, this block, and then to the 360 or front leg turning kick. Up to you. Isabel, next. Show me. Oh, fade away. Okay. Awesome. Another one I get to teach. So, everyone stand where they've got some space behind them to travel backwards. You're going to lean forwards, circle under, lean backwards and push like that. Sweet. Lean forward, circle under and push like that. Tiffany and Toby, get moving. Are you listening? No. So show me, everybody. Here and push back. Go. Nate and Jessica, you're not doing it. Here, circle under and push back. You're going to do that movement and add a side kick. Here. Woo. Yeah, it's a little funny one, isn't it? Woo. It's like a little half back kick, half side kick. Woo. Feel like a little rabbit. Okay, so that's the movement that Isabel's adding on after the turning cable 360. So I'm not going to do anyone else after this. So watching, this is the final combination for someone to show me. Are you ready? Do it with me. One, two, walking stance. Oh no. I do the same thing every time. I'm sorry. Let's start again for me, my old brain. Go. One, two, Front snap kick, punch, grounding block, front snap kick, twisting kick, hooking kick, same time up Here, 360, fade away. Okay, who's gonna show me? I can't spotlight someone because I'm not the host, but if you can just flick along the top of your screen, Isabel, show us. One, two, kick, punch. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Give her a clap, a little silent clap. Okay, Toby and Tiffany, do you think you can show us or were you not doing it? Thank you, God. Can you show us? No? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Just with your hands. No, okay. Maybe next time. Cam, can you show us? Go Cam. Go Cam. Sweet, give him a clap. Okay, anyone else? Hands up. Liam, go for it. It's all my lunch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, that's okay, Liam. I that's saw you getting it earlier. That's the only bit I forget it. That's okay. It's okay. I saw you doing it before. That's fine. 
So the key with this exercise was to get you guys to remember long things like patterns, as I say, long bits of material, but also to try and encourage you guys to get some kind of flow between the movements. So, move that way. Punch, punch. You notice when I was doing it, I was trying to make everything as smooth as possible. So instead of swapping feet all the time and taking forever to get between the movements, mine, I also have done quite a bit of this, so my memory is maybe faster. But one, two, kick, bang. One, two, boom, 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 and boom, boom. And I have to slide back because I've got my room. Boom. So you see there's little effort going into making the movement flow. So that's what I want you guys to work on. So come up with a big routine and make it flow as nice as you can because it's really helpful for sparring so that you're not wasting a heap of energy. Grab a quick drink, guys, and then come back. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I present the smiley face. Okay. Whew. It's really hot in here. Okay, we're ready. So now we're gonna cool down with some stretching, but it's not just your average stretching. So, oh, camera. We got it. I don't know, hold with me. Hang fire just a second. Okay, I think that's gonna hold. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. So everyone ready to do some intense stretching. I expect everyone to push themselves at this point because we said at the start of the class, we set our intentions. For me, I wanted to push myself. For you, hopefully, it was to get the best out of this class, the most, because it's a different teaching style, maybe you're not used to, maybe you picked up something new. So just try and be open-minded about the stretching routine. So, it's good. He's so tall he doesn't even fit in the camera. Okay, standing up, find some space, and bring your arms above your head and stretch right up to the ceiling. And come down, and slowly bend your knees. Come down like this, and stretch like this. So grabbing your heels like this. And come back down. And rock up onto your insteps. Yeah, like that. And hold it. So you're on, I wish I could show you better, but basically you're up on this part of your foot, like that. Oh, this hurts for me. Okay. And now, put one leg out in front of you, like this. And stretch forward. Really stretch, guys. There's a pain, I can't get the camera down lower so you guys can actually see what's happening. Can you move back a little bit? Keep stretching if you're not stretching and you're not doing yourself any good. It should be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit sore. But that's okay, it means stretching those muscles as well. Okay, and coming up 
into a nice deep lunge. This. And bring that knee to the floor and stretch it that way. Make sure you're actually stretching, you shouldn't need to put your hands on here. Your hands on your hips or elsewhere, just not on your legs. Maybe rock in and out of that stretch. And if you feel comfortable, you can take straighten both your legs and go into a front split. If you're not comfortable, keep doing what you're doing. And tuck your front leg. I'll bring it down, I reckon. Sorry, hold the bar. What? It won't go off. Hey. It's just annoying that you can't see. Can you just hold it? Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. So from here, we're bending this front leg and coming down into this stretch here, like that. So this leg is like straight along here. The key to make this stretch burn is to bring your foot straighter and closer to your head, and getting your stomach closer to the floor. And coming back into the middle and grab your legs like this, stretching like this for a bit. Make sure you're properly stretching. And roll back like this. And grab your legs and just stretch. I hate to stretch. Oh, my arms aren't long enough to grab my legs. Oh, okay, you can do it. I believe in you. Make sure you guys try and straighten your knees as much as you can. And rolling back. And jump into a little squat like this. Okay, let's try that again. Roll back and jump into a little squat. Like this. Alright. So, and just stretch in there so push your legs apart and straighten your legs i like to point my toes inward slightly And back down to that squat. 
and sitting pink bum. Exactly like this. And come over to one side and just walk your hands around to the other. And come over. It's like a little dance. And come around again. And you come over. And each time try and grab your leg more and come out further with your hands and get closer to the ground. See, look how far I'm getting. At the start, I was up here. Now I'm down here. I'm right out. Right out. And deep, deep breaths as you come through this position. Okay. It's a weird one, isn't it? but I do definitely notice a difference. And give yourself a little massage. I don't know why we do this, it just feels nice. Make sure you get your cards. Yeah, you're gonna do the other side. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. And bring your legs in and standing up. And take a deep breath in. Hands up way in the air. And down to the ground. Knees in front and doing this stretch again. And then pull it over the side. We can switch. And down. And can you point it down a little bit more? So Alex, the reason the camera's quite unstable is Alex is holding it so you can see the floor. So he's a bit of a legend. So with this one, we're coming back like this. Oh, hurts. Good hurt though. And down. And facing this way, put this thing out and stretch towards it. And coming up into that lunge. You should really take the time to do this properly because it's really relaxing, but it also really helps your Taekwondo. And bring your knee off the ground, stretching this quad. Now it's in and out of that stretch if you want. And if you feel comfortable, you can straighten both your legs and go into a front split, which I don't like doing, but it's good for me. Jack, you stretching? Liam, are you stretching? Are you standing there playing I can't with do the splits. You what? I can't do the splits. You can't or you can. Can't. Well, if you can't, then do what I said before. Gotta listen. And tuck that front leg in. And stretch forward. We only have one more minute, though. Yeah. I'm in a hurry. Mm -hmm. 
and coming up to here and rocking back. Oh, and grab. And bring them in and standing up. And you can put the camera back. Okay, are you going to come and join us? And shoot. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Take one. Thank you very much, guys. You've been great today. I know it's been a little bit tricky because this is my first Zoom class, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And Master B, I think, is back to teaching on Thursday. But if not, I'll see you then. And I'll be in class anyway. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday, not Thursday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Bye, Bye Thank you Wednesday. Bye. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later. You're free to leave. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Matt. You. You're welcome. See ya. Thank you. Bye. No problem.